So this number one welterweight contender has found his way back to a title fight. A lot of people didn't think he would get there, and he's made a career of proving doubters wrong. You know, he carries a chip on his shoulder. You tell this man that he can't do something. Right. He will make it a point to get that done. He said from the moment he walked out of the octagon last time and didn't win the belt, that I will be back. Many smirked at him. Many laughed. But his inner circle believed that it was only a matter of time before their guy got another chance. And when he got here, he would get the job done. Now, some would argue he wasn't ready the first time around. I think that's probably a little bit too simplistic. But there's no denying he has rounded out his game. He has evolved. He's maximized the developmental time. And a lot of people believe we will have a new champion by night's end. National Wrestling Championship anymore because now Kamara Usman has some UFC gold to go with it. A huge effort to dethrone Tyron Woodley not all that long ago. And now Usman's got that target on his back. And he also has an undying belief in himself. He believes that through all the hard work, the result will show when he steps in the octagon. He has underrated striking. And because everyone fears his wrestling, a lot of his striking opportunities open up even more. But the moment Usman grabs you, he can control you in a way that not many guys in the UFC can. We saw that in the Woodley fight. We saw it in the Dos Anjos fight. That's why he is the best fighter at 170 pounds. And when your bout agreement says Kamaru Usman on it, get ready for Grab a lunch pill. Grab a lunch pill! <laughs> might need a helmet, too, if that's allowed. Kamaru Usman getting ready to go here tonight. the octagon, he's ready to go. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. This is the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Shawkat Nomad Rothmanov. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare. Ah. All right, Herb Dean, our referee right. for this one, just about right. to get underway. Now, a lot of fight fans thought we would see this fight between Kamal Usman and Shavkat Rachmanov when Usman was the champion. Leon Edwards, of course, intervened, but this is still a matchup of two truly elite 170 pound fighters. I mean, this is as high level as it gets. Shavkat Rachmanov has proven that he is ready for the next level of fighter in the world. And if you're going to beat anyone to prove you belong, it's got to be Kamaru Usman. One of the best welterweights of all time. A guy that just really blew the top of the division for a very long time. He has his eyes set on getting back to the moment. So there it is. First takedown attempt, and he gets it. Sometimes I wonder. 
wonder if, like, I could get in there and stuff the first shot. I know the answer is no, but for the well-rounded fighter here, got to be a pretty discouraging reality to get taken down so early. At your weight class, J.A., I think you'd be okay. Man. Let's go. If you get in there with a light heavyweight, you might end up on your back very, very early. But you got to defend before the takedowns get started. If you allow for him to get to your legs, He's too good at mixing finishes so that you're always thinking, how do I keep up with this guy? You got to stop him before he gets going. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah, big ground and pound. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land from the top position. All right, so the big storyline in this one, the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman, the wrestling's on point, and the ground and pound going on as well. You know, these skills are what allowed for Kamaru Usman to become the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. He is a tremendous wrestler, incredibly strong, and you are seeing all that happen in the octagon right now. He is on point. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Usman. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Under a minute now to go. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Four seconds for the end of round one. All right, so for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter, and he showed you just then why he's known as that in the MMA sphere. He's the guy that if he gets you down, he will dominate you with positioning and brutal, nasty Ready. ground and pound. Second round here. Retain that title. Huge block there. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Do not back up. Let's go forward now. Nasty high kick. How is he still standing? Oh, nice double leg, yes. Now inside the close guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Rachman. Oh, he reversed position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Two minutes to go, round two. He's Gotta be careful here. Grab him, hold him down. 
Usman's in half court. Side control now. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping through it. They're excited. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh my goodness, what a right hand. Ten minutes in the can. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect him. Oh! Well, he gets back up to fairly. Look how wobbly he is. Nice one-two there. Well, he rocked him pretty good, but he didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go get it. You gotta go find the fish. You cannot let it off the hook like that. This is... Oh, uh, watch the arm. the arm bar going up. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. Oh, gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. Right into side control. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work, make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Oh, he got to his spot. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Rock Mama. Hard elbows, hard elbows. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. So Rachmanov's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Oh, nice shot landed from the bottom. For the next three rounds, we're now headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, you've got, got to be kind of fun to strut your way back to the stool. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy 
trying to finish that fight. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough Ready to that fight. your chin is. Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championships? You understand that you are getting close now. It's not even close. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Trying to double up on that jab. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Oh, how clean is that jab by Rockman? Oh, he's hurt. Oh, with authority. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 36 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Chaka.